Hello, everybody. It's me again, Dr. Samuel, and welcome to Dr. Samuel Math videos. Today, we are continuing with our broad topic of consumer arithmetic, and we are going to look at first profit and loss, and then discounts. So, what is profit and loss? Normally, you make a profit when you purchase an item at a certain amount, but you sell it at a greater amount. The selling price is greater than the cost price. And you calculate the profit by subtraction, selling price minus cost price. However, if the cost price of the article, the price you bought the article, is greater than the selling price, what you sell the article at, then you make a loss because your selling price is less than your cost price. That's how you calculate profit and loss. Percentage profit now, an important concept in maths, is found by dividing the profit over the cost price. Now, that's important, not the selling price. Profit over the cost price times 100. Likewise, the percentage loss is found by the loss over the cost price times 100 to convert to a percentage. So let's look at some examples on profit and loss. Here is the first one. And that is taken from a Caribbean Secondary Education Certificate Examination Pass paper. Mrs. Jack bought 150 t shirts for $1,920 from a factory. Part one calculates the cost of one t shirt. So how do you calculate the cost of one t-shirt? You divide the total cost of the t-shirts by the number of t-shirts. So it is, the total cost is one, nine, two, zero dollars. And you divide that by the number of t-shirts which is just 150. And so you can use your calculators for that. So as my calculator is 1920. And you divide by 150. And you get the answer as 12.8. That is $12.80. So one t-shirt costs Mrs. Jack $12.80. Let's go to the second part. The t-shirts are sold at $19.99 each. Calculate the amount of money Mrs. Jack received after selling all the t-shirts. So we know that the number of t-shirts is 150. To find the total amount Mrs. Jack received after selling the t-shirts, we multiply that number of t-shirts by the selling price of one t-shirt, which is $19.99. $19 So we use our calculators to do this again. 150 multiplied by 19.99 equals 2,998.5. So in dollars and cents, that is 2,99850.
So that is the selling price of all the t-shirts. Let's go to part three. The total profit made. So to find the profit, we subtract the selling price, which is two nine nine eight fifty minus the cost price of all the t-shirts, which is one nine two zero dollars. Okay, these are calculators. 2998.5 minus subtract 1920 equals, and you get the answer as $1,078.50. So let's go on to part four. The profit made as a percentage of the cost price. And you have to give your answer correct to the nearest whole number. So the profit as a percentage of the cost price. The profit we just found is As a percentage of the cost price, so we divide by the cost price of all the t-shirts, which is 1920. And multiply by that by a hundred to convert to a percentage. Calculators. So we can multiply by 100 in our heads by bringing the point forward two places. So we'll get 107850. And you divide that by 1920. And we get the answers 56.17, etc. But since we have to bring it to the nearest whole number, the answer is 56 because one is less than five. So the answer is 56 cent, which is a high percentage cost price normally. And that is number one. Let us move on to another one. Look at this next example. An article costs $161. So that means the cost price of the article equals $161. If a profit of 13% is to be made on the cost price, what would the selling price in dollars be? So for this, basically what you want to do is increase that $161 by 13%. So as we saw before, on the percentages, the easy way to do it is to let the cost price be 100%. So if the cost price is 100%, then the selling price would be a hundred plus thirteen, one hundred and thirteen percent. So to find the selling price, all you have to do is multiply one thirteen percent, which is one thirteen over a hundred by the cost price, one sixty one, and that will give you the selling price and the answer. Calculators. 131 divide by 100, bring the point back two places, you'll get 1.13. 1 
and multiply that by 161 will give you the selling price as $181.93. Let's move on. Let's move to examples on discount. Now, discounts happen sometimes when stores or shops, for whatever reason or another, they decide to reduce the cost of an item that they are selling. So, for example, if you pay, if you pay for it cash, then you got a discount. You pay a lower value. So that reduced price is a discount. And normally, we calculate a discount as a percentage. So you may, let me tell you, I'm offering you a 5% discount on the sale of this item. Let's look at some examples on that. So this example reads, after a 15% discount, the cost of an article is $2,890. You want to find the original price, the original price. So for this, remember the $2,890 is the price after the discount. And you want to find the original price, which will be higher. So we can let 100% equal the original price. So therefore, if you have a 15% discount, the discount will be 85%. So therefore, 85% is the discount, which is $2,890. And so all we have to do right now is to find what 100% is. If 85% is $2,890, then by ratios, 1% is, we can divide by 85 to get 1. So it's 2,890 over 85. And therefore, 100% to find this, you multiply this by 100. So it's 2, 8, 9, 0 over 85 times 100. So we do this using our calculators. 2, 8, 9, 0 times 100. Just bring the point of our two places. You get 2, 8, 9, zero 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 and you divide by eight five you get the answer as three thousand four hundred dollars that is it let's look at one more example during a sale, a shop allows 10% discount of the marked price of clothing. What will a customer pay for a dress with a marked price of $50? So we want to find the price paid after the discount. Price is $50. So if we let 100% equal the original price. Therefore, after the discount, you would pay 100 minus 10, which is 90%. So all you do, you find 90% of $50, and that will be the answer. 90 over 100 is 0 0.9. So you would multiply 0 0.9 times 
50, and you get the answer as $45. So that is profit and loss and discount. Next time in our final consumer arithmetic video, we will be looking at simple and compound interest. In the meantime, if you like this video, then please press the button below and subscribe to my channel. Or you can also like the video and of course share the video. See you all next time.